Hello guys, and welcome to a super useful little tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do texture ripping, especially if you're like a 3D artist, this is gonna be one of the most useful things you'll probably see in quite a long time. It's very useful, and it saves me a lot of time with my 3D process. Um, so what it is essentially, it's this little program here called Shoebox, and I'll quickly show you where you can get it, because um, you need to install another um, program called Adobe Air to be able to run this, but it's not hard, I'll explain that in a second. And you can take any image, that has, for example, like um, slanted um, perspective. In this case, this is vending machine here, and I really would like that as a texture, um, but unfortunately, it's kind of like the cameras from the top view, and it kind of, um, I could UV unwrap something onto this, like a box or a cube, but it would be a little bit of work in the UV editor and Blender. So what if I could rip that texture like this and flatten it all out and, and just export it as a nice little, um, image texture that I can easily import into Blender and then simply unwrap and project um, faces onto it. So what we're gonna use, like I said, is this little program here. And I'm gonna go through how to use it and where you can get it. So all of these resources here, um, the Adobe Air, that'll be in the description below. So will the Shoebox program. And also if you wanna follow along with this, um, I'm gonna put a free image in the description below on Pexels, which you can also download. So super simple little tutorial, definitely worth watching. And this is gonna be a great um, thing to add to your tool set. So before you're able to install Shoebox, you have to come and install what's called Adobe Air. So this one here is for Windows. I'll put a link in the description below, like I mentioned. You can come here and just get a free download. You're gonna run this, install it on your computer first. Once you've done that, you can come and get this link, also in the description below. And this is where you're gonna download the actual Shoebox application. You're gonna run it on your computer. Um, just obviously get the version that's suited to your computer and um, all the information is listed here. And once you've downloaded, um, this and installed it after you've installed this one, obviously, and you have the program, just pin it to your um, taskbar, as I've done here, or wherever you're, you're comfortable with, you can put it on your desktop, and it's just a super simple little application to run and use, which is what I'm gonna do here. Now, before I do that, I'm just gonna show you the image I'm actually gonna be using is this one right here. It's just a quick um, little one I downloaded off the internet, and I actually got it on um, Pexels. I'll put a link in the description below. It's just interesting because it's got a bit of a slanted perspective, so it's not a head-on image. So this is an excellent one to use as an example, and it's free to download. So if you guys wanna follow along, you can click on this link, I'll put it below, and you can just download. Um, obviously, the largest one would be better. And then I'm gonna use um, that as an example. So simply go ahead and click on a shoebox application. And this is what's gonna open up, it's super simple. Now, we're not gonna be worrying about animation, uh, GUI or sprites. We're just gonna come here to the bitmap section. And there's a few interesting tools here. These three here are pretty interesting. Only one we're interested in today is the texture ripper over here. And to use it, you simply drag the image. So in this case, I've downloaded it to my desktop. I'm gonna simply drag it onto here. You can see the little marching ants kind of walking around it. You know that it's active and you can just let go and it'll automatically open up um, this window here. And you can see here is the image. You can roll your middle mouse button to zoom in and out. And it's very easy to use. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just move your mouse cursor and you're gonna click on the corner. In this case, we wanna get this whole thing here as a texture. So I'm gonna come here to the corner and I'm just gonna left click and I'm gonna move. You can see it's got this pink line appearing. So we're just gonna move and click on the next corner. It doesn't really matter which corner you start on. And now you can see there's a second point and then we're gonna come down here to the bottom and we're gonna click on this corner here. And now that's a third point generated. Now we can take the fourth and final point and just put it down here in the bottom corner. You can see we're just um, getting the outline of this um, vending machine over here. And what's gonna happen here on the side, it's gonna start rendering out this as a flat head-on orthographic perspective. So that makes it much more easy to use as a texture. Now, obviously it's not gonna fix all of the perspective issues. It's still gonna bake in some of the perspective, um, the sun of kind of like the different um, slanted perspective, so it's not 100%, but for most things, especially f really flat objects that don't have a lot of depth to them, um, this really works well. I'll, I'll give you another example in a second. So this one is just getting the overall um, texture here and it's gonna render out. And even though I'm not gonna do it right now because it's perfect, um, if you want to, once when it's done rendering out like that, you can come over here and just hover on the edge. You can click and drag and you can also adjust the size in this window here, but I'm not gonna do it at the moment. So now that that's done, you can at any time come over here and you can click any, anywhere you want to. Again, so for example, I wanna get this Coca-Cola sign here. So I'm just gonna click in the corner up here, adding in my first point, clicking here in this corner for my second, third, and then finally the fourth. 
And now it's gonna automatically here find a little space for it and it's gonna render it out. So you can actually do multiple textures with this, which is super awesome, super useful. And um, yeah, very, very great tool to use. And now you can see I have it over here. And at any time over here, you can actually come and select it and move it around. So it's just a nice little workspace. It almost reminds me a little bit of another program um, called PureRef, but PureRef doesn't have this. It's just simply um, uh, load in a whole bunch of images and kind of move them around. So you have like a reference page, but it's really super, super cool to use this. And say for example, I want to come here and let's just grab maybe this door panel here. I can do it again. You can add as many um, of these as you want. So I'm just adding four points of contact. And this works extremely well for like if you're into architectural stuff or you need just like um, textures or posters to put into walls. A lot of hard surface stuff. This really is a, um, because it works with squares and rectangles, it works really well. So over here, I just rendered that little panel out and I can drag it up here just to make it space efficient. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's, that's all there is to this tool. And it even gives you this nice little um, pop-up from time to time that shows you what um, the different settings are. If you just hold the cursor, you can see up here, it shows you some of the different shortcuts. So if you wanna save the texture, all you gotta do here is just come to save texture down here. And then just select somewhere in your desktop. I'm just gonna call it texture. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save. And really guys, it's that simple. I mean, it's such a easy um, piece of um, software to use and there's not a whole lot of complicated buttons or anything very easy interface so i hope you guys have enjoyed it so i'll quickly just show you what the final result looks like this is pretty much it so here we have a nice texture here and it also has um by the looks of it some transparency so there seems to be an alpha channel which is really good as well so now you can load this into blender and you can very easily project and uv unwrap um, parts of for example a vending machine in this case onto here and um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay safe and check out some of my other content.